Hey guys, Fred here, Lightspeed Construction. I'm um, up here on the roof in Asheville, North Carolina. Um, owner says it has a few leaks. Um, at first glance, it, it looks like a nice roof. It really does. It uh, doesn't look old. It looks like a fairly new roof. It looks pretty good, but on, on further inspection, there's a serious, there's a lot of serious problems with this roof, like a bunch, and I'm gonna go over those with you right now. Um, First of all, I'm going to flip the camera around to where you can take a look at the roof and see what I mean by saying it doesn't look bad. I mean, it looks, the granules are still on them really well. Um, it doesn't look to be more than three or four years old, probably. Maybe maybe a little bit older. But I'll go ahead and flip this around real quick. As you can see, I mean, it looks pretty decent. I mean, the shingles look like they're in great shape. Um, I'll start on the, this side I came up on. Uh, I did see one spot that kind of looked like hail damage, but it could just be a ding in the shingle right there <clears throat> step over here um once you sit down in this area right here you start to realize how uneven everything is there's there's areas popping up shingles cupping um let me put this down and uh you will see some chalk uh all the yellow chalk is mine the uh pinkish red stuff is somebody else's um they they seem to mark a lot of areas where people caulked and stuff and i don't really care about the caulk and i want to find out you know why it's leaking now and uh what's going on with it back up a little bit i'm not sure if you can see in this area but right where i'm circled it dips down real bad right there dips down terribly bad probably from this point to this point it probably drops a good inch and a quarter um and if you look underneath these shingles as i popped some of them up um I can feel that right here, where the where the two sections connect, uh, is become almost delaminated. It feels broken, um, and that's not from me. It was like this part was like this. I can promise you that. Uh, you can see right here. Look how rusted those nails are. Uh, which means water is getting underneath these shingles. Uh, it's coming down the roof. Look at this one over here. I mean, it's gone. There's, I mean, there's really almost nothing left. Come on now. Almost nothing left of that head completely rusted out that's what that arrow's there for um go up here and you can see that oh, a little bit there we go somebody high nailed it up there uh the reason they did that is because they reused the shingle as you can see there's a hole right here where there there used to be a nail um as you can see there's a new one right here and then boom right on this right on this union there's another one right there it's a hole so um, I'm sure that that's where some of that water's coming from. Um, lift this one up up here, and the same thing, if you notice, there's a hole right next to that, right there. There's a hole right there, and then there's a, a nail. So somebody's tried patching this whole area, and they, kept, they used the old shingles. Um, it's, it looks terrible, it really does. Um, you know, it, any water going down through here is gonna sit and drain underneath this area where this, where this union's at and go underneath and as you can see that's, that's straight wood right there there's no felt on the roof there is some felt here in certain places but when they put this roof on they tore some of it off and left some in some places um and then didn't add any back uh some more this is a different area you can barely actually that's a wide open hole right there there's not even a nail in there some rust left from the hole it's a wide open hole some more rusted nail there there's another rusted nail right there another rusted nail right there this is the one we looked at last time the one above it as you can see there's the other rusted nails um <clears throat> and then up here for some reason i noticed these were creased these shingles i thought maybe they were wind damaged but as you can see they nailed right through the face of that shingle this one they nailed through the face of that one too so that's why those are creased i was kind of hoping it was wind damage uh but any inspector is going to pick that up and look at it and see that it's not okay so this whole area is the same way man it's like somebody patched the area and uh oh there's a nail right there on that seam right there's a nail and it's actually overshot sunk way down in there um let's see here let's see if any of these will pick up for me just trying i know there was there's a couple right here yeah okay so as you can see those shingles are really messed up, man. There's a big hump right here in the in this shingle. Um, not sure from what, 
gonna lift this up As you can see that shingles tore that nail is going right through that shingle I um, thought there was a couple more I picked up that they were I was able to actually lift up on but maybe they were a little further up maybe they were up here oh yeah I guess not but uh oh, there they are they're over here okay <clears throat> Oh wow, that's that one, yeah. So there's a nail coming right through, right at the union too. And I'd seen it, I'd seen the shingle that was lifted up. So I picked the shingle up and you could see right there that shingle, that, that nail is leaking. There's water pouring into that hole right there. Um, yeah, so with almost six minutes gone by, I'm sorry, I'm kind of going a little too detailed. Uh, we're gonna hop to the front roof um, I'm sure what I just seen there's more of throughout this roof um, I just can't lift up every single shingle it's just too many shingles um, over here now this does look in, uh, indicative to wind damage right here this uh, you see that shingles fractured all the way across that's what you want to look for in wind damage and that does look like wind damage right there um, see this other person they wanted to it's just areas that have been caulked I mean there's obviously no water coming from there, so I'm the, I really don't care about that. Uh, this area right here kind of looks like a, could be a hail impact. Um, and then right here again, as you can see, another fracture across the shingle, which could be wind damage. Um, and then boom, as you lift it up, there's a nail right there. So you know water is getting underneath that. I mean, that nail is right there. Oh, uh, I think that might be, oh yeah. This is when I first started finding this. Um, there's no nail in that hole whatsoever. I mean, it makes me wonder if they used you like, like if they had used shingles that had holes in them, and they just decided to use them on this roof because they still looked brand new. So this area right here is going to look is in really bad shape. Everything through here, I'm not sure if you can see this, but this whole roof looks like the ocean. It's just wavy as could be, buckles this way, waves that way. Um, so right here is an NP, I call it nail penetration, sticking through the shingle right there, lift it up, you can kind of see the head of the nail is rusted completely off. Um, there's a huge bump right here, I'll try to back it up, there's a huge bump right there in the shingle. Um, ah. and you know what, I think that's another nail pop right there. Yep, that's actually, that's the, the edge of a nail starting to come through the shingle right there right there anyways um so with that said as you lift this shingle up you can see there's a rusted nail right there right there is about where it stops but if you move over oh let's see if i can lift this up far enough oh. pull this one which one was it over here okay so this shingle is cupped so this point is higher than this point that means the water's gonna sit in here, drain back, go down into this crack, and then get underneath this. And as you can see, there's a hole right there in the shingle where there used to be a nail, right there. Same with right there. And a huge gap between the shingles, just gigantic. Um, as you move yourself, move our way over, there's another big hump, I mean huge. It actually runs from right there all the way down that line right there. Um, another one, this shingle right here, absolutely feels completely broke. Um, and it, it is completely broke. Uh, hold on. I'll put them in. As you can see, they nailed in right there, but that's where the nail used to be at, right in this hole right there. You see, there's a hole right there. There's a nail, and then over from it, there's another hole right there. So, um, this is really crazy. Uh, let's see what I did here. That's just another another hole where next to the nail. Um, oh, let's see. Okay, so oh, there's a nail. No, there's a nail actually laying in there sideways right there. Not sure if you can see that. Um, this shingle is completely ripped right here, and the bottom part of the other shingle is sticking out from underneath of it. So this is literally torn in two. Um, this shingle's pretty torn too. And then this one that has a line on it is actually not even a full shingle. If you lift this up, 
you can see the shingle ends right there and then there is exposed wood nails bent over rusted nails um same thing here i mean that's that's a rusted nail right there uh look at that i mean if wind blows up this up if, if wind was to blow this up a little bit water's blowing right into that wood man right into that wood and this this shingle is literally just about ready to come out of there because i mean there's actually to be honest with you i don't see a single nail in that shingle i kid you not i don't see a single nail in that shingle the only thing that's holding it on is the fact that it's actually attached right here. It's literally not attached to anything up in there. Nothing. Look at that. Um, <clears throat> now that does kind of this right here does kind of look like wind damage as well. Um, you usually don't see that type of wind damage on a dimensional shingle, but that does look like wind damage. You can see they overlap their shingles instead of a. Uh, oh my lord, this looks terrible. Anyways. Not sure if you can see that, but this is like a huge hump right there. All through here, the metal is higher than the roof, or the roof has actually dropped down and got and been broken. Um, the uh, the oh, the shingles are cupping right here. Sure you, oh, sorry about that, guys. If you can see that, it's cupped like this. So any water that lands on this drip edge or anywhere in here is going to drain underneath those shingles. Um, and then right here you have, uh, what was it, MW? Oh, missing wood. Yeah, there's missing wood in this section right here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. I'll try to hold, lift it up to where you can. Let's see here. No, I don't think you'll be able to see that without uh, a light on. But there's wood that is missing right there. Um, this whole section, I mean, is feels like you could step on and fall through it. Um, so everything that we've seen through here is basically like this all the way up through this section right here So everything from that corner down To there is the same way it was over here um, Let's see right here No nail there's no nail right here on the edge of that one. There's two holes There's one right there More you know the purplish pink stuff where it's showing where they cocked stuff like I said We're not looking for that. Um, I will say this one it does have another fracture across it right here where it looks kind of like it had been broken at one point um with that said i'm sorry this video was so long but this was a lot to get through um yeah so anyways <laughs> thanks for watching and uh stay tuned in and we'll, we'll see you next time guys bye